Hey there everyone, this is Jessica from domesticatedme.com. I shopped the Victoria Beckham and Mango collaboration collection this week. I got some pieces that I really love. I'm gonna give you all the details in this video. If you're new to my collection videos, the way that I do them is that I talk about the collection itself, what drew me to it, why I decided to shop it. I talk about the shopping experience and any information that I think is noteworthy that you should know. And then I go on to the try on haul portion where you can actually see these pieces on me. And then finally I come back and give you my final thoughts on the collection and the pieces. If you guys are followers, you know that I've been dealing with my mom's health situation so I've been a little out of the loop and I was completely unaware that this collection was even coming out. I was on Instagram and I just happened to see an ad for this collection. I think I saw it the day after it launched. I was immediately intrigued, so I went to the website and I found out more information about the collection. This collaboration collection is with Victoria Beckham of the Spice Girls. That is my era, that is my generation, so I love the Spice Girls. And Victoria Beckham is someone that I've continued to follow through the years because I'm just a big fan of her style. If you were a fan of the Spice Girls, you know that she was Posh Spice and that name still suits her. She's very polished, very refined. She's just chic. And because of that, Victoria Beckham has continued to have a huge impact on fashion and she launched her Victoria Beckham fashion brand. But unlike many fashion brands that have been launched by celebrities, Victoria Beckham has actually been a well-respected designer. Her label was launched in 2008, and in 2011, she won the Designer Brand of the Year at the British Fashion Awards. Now, this is not the first collaboration collection for Victoria Beckham. She had one in 2017 with Target. I will link to my haul video down in the description box below and up here as well so you can check it out, but it was a very big launch. It's actually one of my favorite collaboration collections that Target has done, and that included women's fashion as well as children's fashion. This collection is only women's fashion Fashion. It includes dresses, suit pieces, shoes, handbags, and jewelry. Another big difference between this collaboration and the Target one is definitely the price point. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a big mango shopper. I used to shop it in Colombia when I was in college. They launched there in South America before they came to the United States, and I just haven't shopped there, not for any particular reason, it just I haven't. So I'm not very familiar with this Spanish brand like I am Sara. I used to purchase Sara in college when I was in Spain and then I've shopped them over the years here in New York City many times. But Mango I'm not so familiar with. So this is actually my first Mango haul in general. I've seen their pieces but I've just never really looked into them too much until today. So I was really excited to not only check out these Victoria Beckham pieces but also check out Mango in general. For me when I think about the Victoria Beckham fashion brand I think trousers she's got incredible trousers, I think chic, timeless pieces, really good quality, beautiful looking pieces. I'm thinking tailoring, I'm thinking kind of quiet luxury, but also some of her pieces also have a little fashion forward twist to them. And I was happy to see that that was also the case for these pieces from this collection. I love the trousers, I love a lot of the suiting pieces, I love the, the dresses. So I added some things to my cart, but I am in New York City and the Mango flagship store is just a few train rides away, so I decided to try and go see them in person before I made any online purchase. Thankfully when I went to the Mango flagship store all of the pieces were still available so I was able to take a close look at each of them and try some on. The store was beautiful, I love the dressing rooms and the people who I interacted with at the store were very nice. Save for the person that checked me out, the cashier, how do I put this? The cashier who checked me out was not very, was not particularly warm and forthcoming with information, I don't know, but other than that, my shopping experience was great. I really recommend going to the flagship store if you're in the New York City area because it is beautiful, it's large, they have a big collection. All right, without further ado, let me show you the pieces that I did wind up purchasing. I mentioned trousers. When I think of Victoria Beckham, I think of impeccable, beautifully tailored trousers. And so that was the first thing that I was drawn to in this collection. I went right for the trousers just to check them out. I really did think about buying more than one piece, but realistically, my lifestyle, the fact that I have three children, one of whom is 18 months old, I stayed away from the light colored ones. So I picked up these black trousers. These retail for $190. They're just beautiful, really great quality. They are wool blend trouser, beautiful details, flare bottoms, just really, really good, nice looking pants. And while I won't say that they're inexpensive, they are a fraction of the cost of what a regular Victoria Beckham trouser from the main line would cost. And for sizing reference, I got them in a size 6 and clearly I will need to tailor it in both the length and at the waist. But because of my shape, that's something that I'm just used to. The next item I picked up is this silk blouse. Absolutely beautiful. 
I got it in a size medium and it fits great. I love the fit of this. This retails for $230. Again, not inexpensive, but it is a silk shirt. I love the way that it fits. I got it in a size medium for your reference. I love the details of the cuffs. I think they're beautiful. I think it fits great. I think it's just a good piece that I will have in my closet for many, many years that I can wear for different occasions. And it's just gonna be a real good, nice staple to have in my closet. I love the shirt is also long. So if you wanna wear it untucked, it's a really nice length. Here are the cuffs with it buttoned on the first button. And here's one last look at the blouse untucked. The next item my husband absolutely loved on me, this is I think his favorite thing that I got, and it's this beautiful polo. It's got this beautiful lacy perforated design. It's thick, it's cool, I just, I just love this piece. You can wear a nice bralette underneath or a tank if you want a little more coverage, but I just think it's like a really cool, nice piece that I know I'm gonna wear a ton. The last item I picked up is a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I tried it on and I just thought it looked cool. I think it's something that you can dress up or dress down. Let me show you. It is this blue cut out button down shirt. I just think it's cool. It's super comfy, it's oversized. For reference, I bought this in a size two. Tried on the four in the fitting room and it's just because it's oversized, I'm not used to wearing shirts like that, so I went down to a two and it fit me. It's still oversized, but it fit me just a little bit. It was a little more fitted, obviously, because it's a smaller size, and I think it fits well. So if you are into the boxy oversized look and prefer a bigger size, you can stick to your regular size because it's already an oversized piece. But if you do want it to be a little more fitted or just not as oversized, you can definitely go down a size or two. So this style, this cut, is definitely different for me, but I like that it's a unique piece that I can dress up and dress down. You can wear these with trousers, with slacks, or you can pair them with jeans. I really like the way that they look with jeans. My husband also was a little taken aback by it because he's just not used to seeing me in anything like that, but when I put it on with jeans, he was like, oh yeah, I can see that, like, yeah, that yeah. casual look. And even though it's a cutout and it's a button-down collared shirt, it definitely works as a casual look when you pair it with jeans. And I just really like it. And I think it's gonna be really nice to wear this spring and summer. By the way, if you're new here, welcome, bienvenidos. My name is Jessica Flores and I am a lifestyle creator. I create content about fashion, beauty, DIY projects, luxury family travel, and so much more. So if any of those topics interest you, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell button next to the subscribe button so you can set your notifications on for all. I make new videos every week, but I don't have a set schedule so if you have your notifications on you won't miss a thing now let's talk about the pieces that I tried on but didn't buy and why the first one I'll talk about is the transparent blouse I really like that blouse I saw it online and added it to my cart because I thought it would be a really good piece but when I tried it on the collar for me just wasn't working and so I'd rather put my money towards something that I absolutely love from A to Z than something that I just was a little uncomfortable with or didn't like a little certain aspect of it. I'm trying to be a little more conscious about what I purchase, so that is why I left that one there. I did try on the bralette to see what it would look like with the pieces from the collection. It retails for $80, and after trying it on with the pieces, it's fine, but it's just something that I didn't think I needed to spend $80 for. I have nice little bralettes in my collection. You might as well. And so if you don't have a bralette that you could wear under these transparent pieces or you just want one and like this style, it's a very simple bralette, but it's a nice bralette, then you can certainly take a look at it. But for me, I just pass on it because I didn't think it was something that I needed to buy. These trousers I wanted to try on and I did like them. It's out of my comfort zone because they're very voluminous. And I think because of that, I just couldn't get past that. It just felt odd for me. So for me, it was a no, but if you're into those oversized trousers, then you can definitely take a look at them because they are nice, they felt nice. I did like them, but it's just, again, I'm trying to be a little more conscious about what I buy and I just didn't feel like I needed to have that piece. I have to admit, I'm seriously considering going back and trying on the linen trousers with the linen vest. I didn't even try them on because I thought a light color linen trouser vest set is not something that I really need in my closet right now that I know that I'm gonna use. Again, I have three small kids. I'm not really going out a ton where I would need something like that in my collection, 
but it looked so beautiful that I could not stop thinking about it. And so I'm seriously considering going back and just trying it on and seeing if it's something that I might want to add. And the trousers look beautiful and that vest, I love the details. It has shoulder pads and then the back is open. It just looks like a really nice piece for the spring and summer. Let me know what you guys think. Should I go back and at least try it on? So here are my final thoughts on the collection. I really, really enjoyed this collection. I thought the pieces were beautiful. All the things that I looked at and touched seemed really well made. Again, I'm trying to be a little more thoughtful about the things that I purchased. So I did look at the materials of the pieces that I was buying. I was impressed with the materials used. Again, these are wool blends. These are cotton blends. These are 100% silk shirts. So I was impressed with the material. The price point, not inexpensive, but for what the regular Victoria Beckham brand costs, they are a fraction of the cost. And that's what I love about these collaboration collections is that you're getting access to brands that you may not normally have access to, styles and even materials that you don't normally buy because they're out of your price range or out of your lifestyle, but because they're more affordable, then maybe you can add them to your collection if you want to. So I think this is a really good collaboration collection. Again, I love the pieces. I loved the dresses. The dresses, you have to check out the dresses. They're absolutely gorgeous. Unfortunately for my lifestyle, there's nowhere I'm gonna wear that. <laughs> I have one wedding to attend and I already know what I'm gonna wear for that because I'm being more conscious about what I'm buying. I just didn't need to buy them, but they're absolutely beautiful. The darting, the cuts, the seams, the way that the dresses move, absolutely beautiful. Definitely check that out. If you're in the market, if you have a wedding or a special event or you're in the market for a really nice dress, definitely check out the dresses from this collection because they're beautiful. Are you a mango shopper? Let me know in the comment section below. Is this the usual price range for mango pieces or is this just a little more expensive because it is a collaboration collection or is it a lot more expensive because it's a collaboration collection or because it's a collection in partnership with Victoria Beckham? Let me know. When I was in the dressing room, I heard one of the employees mention that if you purchase from the capsule collection, you can have the dresses altered for free at Mango. I tried to ask the cashier about this, but they had little to no information to offer or wanted to offer or didn't know. She just simply said that if I wanted alterations, I had to pay for it and that this Victoria Beckham collection was not considered a capsule collection. But then another cashier did chime in and say that you can in fact alter capsule collection dresses for free at Mango. So I don't know for sure if this is or isn't considered a capsule collection and if I could have these pieces altered for free or as a paid service. But regardless, I think it's really great that Mango does provide this service, whether it's free or for a fee. Let me know what you thought about the collection. Let me know what you thought about my pieces. Please feel free to use that comment section below to ask any questions, make any requests, or just say hi because you guys know that I love to hear from you. Click or tap right here to watch my last video or click down below to watch another video that you might enjoy. Thank you so, so much for watching. Stay tuned.